gentlemen. Co-host Aisha is not here, but Naye and myself will be showing two of our talents. And I will go ahead and go first. The, first, the thing I would like to show you is a short trailer that was um, created by myself and other students in my high school, Code RBA. Um, it was a spur of the moment creation and um, yeah, let's uh let's run the our, our, our talent clip. I So next up, we have another talented, amazing, beautiful, inspiring, lovely co-host Naye to share her talents with us. Okay, I guess it is my turn. Um, okay, so I've been debating if I should like say the background before or after the poem. So I guess I'll give a little before and a little after. So basically. Um, I'm going to be um, reading a poem that I wrote myself. Um, yes, I did write the poem. Um, and yes, I do write poems. Um, yeah, I kind of feel like I should say it afterwards because like it'll be it'll have a deeper like understanding after I read it. And because Miss Ray hasn't heard it, so nor has Jasmine, so it's a surprise to everyone. Except for my mom, and she's yeah. Except for my mom. But other than that, it's a surprise to everyone. Nobody's really heard it, so I think if I say it and read it first, it will have a stronger, like you know, understanding after I read it. Okay, I read it now. So this poem is called "A Recipe for the Rev the Revolution of Haitians." They like it sweet, the the chocolate cake. The, they beat and whisk the luscious brown colored cake. A cup of blood, zero ounces of legal tinder. A pinch of sugar just for them. A teaspoon of coffee that never touches our lips. A hundred dashes of pain and suffering. They push, they shove, they cook us till we boil over. Overcooked for years and years. Those Europeans love this sweet, delicious cake. So much so they felt the need to rape, to mistreat, to make us work for them. Just to get a taste of this sweet brown cake. 1791 to 1804, we cooked in the oven, that that oven, hot, hot, extremely hot oven. When we had enough break in the oven to finally get out, we pushed, we shoved, we killed just to get out that deadly oven. Never wanted to boil over ever again. We did it. It opened. The brown cake dry and beat up, but out. We won the revolution. Now, let's rebuild the cake. Though there's really nothing left, try to make it pretty again, but not for them, for us. Grab a knife, spread the icing. Let's use pretty colors. Let it pop. Let's make it pop. It's not working. It's not working. The colors won't form. It's too dry, too damaged, illegal tenant that was just for the economy. 
was used for those disgusting Europeans. The cake is too dry, it's too broken, it's too burnt. It's poor, poor. The brown luscious cake has flatlined, living on just the brittle hard sides it has left. As the cake sits, storms come, mold forms and the cake hardens more breaking down more, population being destroyed because of millions dead from the storm that passes by. Can we ever regroup? Can we, be, can we regenerate? Is there any hope left? Even if not, the cake will always be strong. It will always have a lasting legacy of pushing out of that oven after years and years of hurt and pain. Winning that revolution will always be the icing on the cake, even if it's not so pretty. Oh, oh, oh.